Okay, so today we're talking about the Roth IRA from top to bottom start. So a Roth IRA is just a title that's given to an investment account. Now, by calling it a Roth IRA, the IRS assumes that you're going to follow the rules that they've put forward for the Roth IRA. Now, a Roth IRA on its own is not really much. It's just an account. There's nothing inside of it. So think of it like a house. You can have a house, just a bare shell of a house with no kitchen, no flooring, no nothing, just walls and a ceiling. Right? We have to put stuff into that house to help create some kind of a value. So in a Roth IRA, you could basically have any type of investment inside of the account. Uh, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, gold, real estate. You're pretty much unlimited as far as the things that you can invest a Roth IRA in. Think of this as furnishing the house. When you add a kitchen, add some floors, add a sofa, a TV, now all of a sudden you have the potential for something to have real value. Okay, so how much can you put in? Well. In a Roth IRA for 2017, you could put in $5,500 if you're under the age of 50. If you're 50 or over, you can put in $6,500. Now you don't wanna go over that number or you're gonna to have to pay a 6% excise tax but a good wealth manager will stop you from doing that so that you don't have to pay the penalty. In a Roth IRA, you're actually not allowed to contribute if you make too much. So if you're single and you make $132,000 or more, or if you're married and you make $194,000 as a combined couple, then you're really phased out from contributing to a Roth IRA. If you make too little money, then you're probably not really concerned with investing, but if you are, then here are the rules. Uh, if you make less than $5,500, which is the max contribution amount, then you can only contribute however much you made. So for example, if you only made $3,000, then that's all you could contribute. That would be your limit. If you're over the age of 50 and you made less than $6,500, then whatever it is that you made, that's what you can contribute. Okay. What else? If you have a retirement plan at work, such as a 401k, uh, then you could still have a Roth IRA and contribute to it. You can make contributions at any age and you're never actually required to take money out of it. See, in a traditional IRA, that's another type of retirement account, you're actually forced to start taking money out when you're 70 and a half. Not the case with a Roth. If you have a spouse that's currently not working, well, they can still open a Roth IRA, but the IRS is gonna use the working spouse's taxes to determine limitations for contributions, things like that. All right, did I cover everything? Oh, withdrawals. So you ideally wanna leave your money in a Roth IRA until you're retired, right? That's the point of the account. But if something comes up, as long as it's been more than five years from the date of your first contribution, you could take out any money that you've contributed without paying a penalty. Also, you could take money out without paying a penalty if you happen to buy your first home, uh, maybe you have college expenses, you're going back to school, and a few other things like that. Well, hey, I hope this helps. That's the Roth IRA. Really not much to it. It's pretty straightforward. But if you happen to have more questions, feel free to leave a comment. At Jazz Wealth, we manage your retirement accounts, such as a Roth IRA. Think of us as the people that furnish the house that we talked about. We'll put the kitchen in there and the furniture and everything to make sure that you're on the right track to having a valuable house. If you'd like us to do that for you, head over to jazzwealth.com, go to the top, click on invest now, and I will personally follow up with you to get your account open or transferred from wherever it's at now. If by chance you have more questions, you can again, leave a comment, send me an email, or you can always contact me directly at... at